the little island. All at once, the little island appears like an emerald jewel in the sparkling sea. This beautiful green gem is the island where I was born, and I'm bringing Luca, my friend, to see it. Soaring through the clouds in a sky of blue, the city left behind seems so far away. Our plane touches down and from our window we can see a dozen Caribbean faces smiling happily. The wooden houses sit brightly upon the hills. They are yellow, orange, blue, a rainbow of every colour imaginable. The rain rat a tat tats on the red tin roof over our heads as we sleep to the song of a thousand crazy crickets singing to the moon. There are so many little friends for us to meet. Frisky donkeys and silly goats, cats and dogs, birds and cows are everywhere. Lazy lizards play hide and seek, turning from green to brown and to green again, right before our very eyes. There are large barking frogs known as mountain chickens and giant iguanas almost three feet long. Beyond the houses, the huge mountains splashed with colour reach up to the sky. Frangipani and jasmine flowers smell so sweetly in the wind. All round us there are sweet bayram trees, red flamboyant trees, yellow powy trees and pink coral trees. On the island the weather is so hot that the food is cooked outdoors in old coal pots. We are offered pumpkin soup, pigeon peas, goat water stew and fried bananas topped with guava ice cream. Mmm. To market, to market with cinnamon and fresh nutmeg. The early morning sun peeps over the mountain tops as we arrive in town for market. By bus, by donkey, by foot, the people come from every village balancing baskets on their heads. Where are the mangoes? Where are the nuts? The people say. Fruits and vegetables are piled up high, so ripe and fresh. They have funny names and are funny shapes. There are soursops, guavas, crystophenes, mangoes and juicy orange pawpaws. Look at the tropical traffic downtown. A boat has sailed in brimful of goods from all over the world. The hustle and bustle of unloading grinds to a halt when a donkey refuses to budge. Angry taxi drivers toot their horns. Ee-oh! Ee-oh! Onk, onk! Onk, onk! Luca and I pop into an island shop to buy yummy presents to take home with us. We choose mango jam, guava cheese, lime squash and some very hot pepper sauce. The brightly painted wooden boats with curious names such as Frangelica, Annie Panny and Shonaby bob on the sea. Each day fathers and sons row out with their huge nets to catch the fish. They catch mackerel fish, parrot fish, tuna fish, trunk fish and Picasso fish. Lobsters, crabs, fishtails and flippers fill the boats. A fisherman blows into a conch shell trumpet, letting everyone know that there's a fish for sale. Tootle to woo! Tootle to woo! Feeling hot, 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 down we dive into the cool aquamarine sea. As we swim through schools of fish, thousands of colours flash by our eyes. We've entered yet another world. One day, Luca and I drop by the old yellow schoolhouse. We listen to some Caribbean folk tales and play games with tiny beads on a wooden board. Children's chatter and giggles fill the air. Sylvester, Desmond and Simon, Sylvia, Glendina and Althea. We will not forget them. The calypso and reggae music play sweetly to our ears. The tin drums are made from empty oil cans and, once pounded into shape, their rhythms echo into the night. Music, sweet music.
The hot and cool of the earth and wind surround the great volcano. Every once in a while, a little puff of smoke rises into the air. Oh, do stay quiet as we visit. Deep in the wild forest, we go fishing in a bubbling mountain stream. Hoping for just a nibble, we wait, but the fish wiggle away and hide under the pebbles. Paradise surrounds us. Ding dong, ding dong. Village church bells ring out into the air as the gaily dressed wedding guests spill into the church grounds. There are red hats, white hats, straw hats and flowery hats. Jump up, jump up. Our toes barely touch the ground as we dance around. To and fro, our bodies sway to the carnival songs which are played all night long. But alas, all too soon our holiday is over and we must bid farewell to this tropical paradise. Luca and I say goodbye with a promise to return to the little island in the Caribbean. I hope you enjoyed The Little Island. What I would like you to do is to discuss the book, answer any questions that your mummy or daddy might ask you and just become familiar with the story. Goodbye, see you again soon. Bye.